So today we are gonna do our corrective exercises. It's super important that you do not cheat when you do this. Make sure it's an honest attempt. If you do it wrong or you uh, fail the rep, that's okay. Just do your best, try your best. Try not to cheat during these. Second big thing in these is make sure you're filming on three different sides. So ideally you'll be filming from the front and then you'll turn, you'll do the rep from this side, one or two reps, and then you'll do it from the back, one or two reps again. So in total, you're gonna have about six to eight, maybe six to nine total reps for each movement so we can view what's going on in your, um, in your individual exercise and we can go from there. So make sure you're doing these two things. Do not cheat and get three different angles. Make sure you have a place that is nicely lit also, one last thing, make sure you're having on uh, form-fitting clothing. You don't want super loose clothing in here because that's going to inhibit us from identifying, <clears throat> excuse me, identifying your imbalances and what is actually going on with your movement. All right, guys, good luck on your movement assessment. This next one is the double leg squat right here. I'm gonna play it through so you guys can watch. You're gonna be feet shoulder width apart and you're just gonna go into a normal squat. I have my hands over my head and you'll see why that comes um, into play in a little bit. All right, so that is it in a nutshell right there. Let's go back to the beginning and you can see, again, Ideally, you want your feet shoulder width apart. Mine are a little bit wider here, just because I have to compensate a little bit. And right at the bottom, let's see if we can rewind that just a little bit more. You can see that the knees cave into the foot, the feet right here, indicating a couple of problems here. You can also see, let's see if I do it again on my second rep. If we go back to the beginning, I rushed that one just a little bit, but you can see that my elbows and shoulders are not level there at all. That is telling me that we have some issues up top and you'll be able to see those a lot coming up here on the side view. So right here, I have a major flared out rib cage right here, which tells me that my core is not tight right here. So this is the importance of wearing the proper clothing when you do this so we can see what is actually going on. Yeah, you might have good ankle mobility and hip mobility, but if you have an inactive core, then that is uh, an issue that we need to address right there. Last view is from the back. Ideally, I'd be going right towards the camera, my mistake here. And if I pause at the bottom here, you can kind of see the shift that I was talking about up top and a little bit on the hips right here. If I was perfectly uh, perpendicular to the camera, you'd be able to see that a lot more. But this is the uh, double leg squat right here. Make sure you do this from three different sides, front, side, and back all towards the camera so we can see your imbalances and help you fix them. So that wraps it up for this video, guys. Make sure you're getting three different planes of view for each different exercise. It's gonna come in super handy to allow me to plan for your workouts and figure out what your imbalances are and what you need to improve on during these courses of motion. If you wanna send me other videos with you, swimming, biking, running, lifting, doing whatever, please send me those videos. I'm always happy to watch a video, critique it, and take some notes for your benefit. So send me those videos. Uh, when you do these exercises, send me the other ones. Make sure it's three planes of motion, and I will see you soon.